guys, got another video re review for you. Uh, this time we're continuing in our look at the uh, 2010 BotCon box set. Uh, and here we have Ultra Magnus. Um, I'm pretty sure that he's supposed to be Shattered Glass. I don't know. Shattered Glass is kind of dumb. Uh, Autobots are bad. Decepticons are good. Eh, it's just a cheap way to get repaints, but whatever. Um, he's supposed to be Ultra Magnus. Uh, he does have the uh, red and blue color scheme that Ultra Magnus has. Uh, there's not a lot of white on him though, but as you can see, he is a remold, uh, sorry, a repaint of uh, Laser Prime from Reveal the Shield, who we've already looked at. Uh, actually, we didn't look at Prime, we looked at Shattered Glass Prime from Bakon. But uh, same old, same old, same mold as that guy. Um, which is, you know, a pretty easy pick, seeing as, you know, Ultra Magnus is a repaint of. Of Optimus Prime in general, but uh, do have big Autobot logos on the windows, rub symbol on the head, on the roof, uh, pinstriping on the hood, which is pretty cool. Um, the painting on these guys are really nice in general, and all the Bakon figures. But yeah, let's. Uh, it's just you know. Not a lot I can say about him that hasn't already been said about the mold. So uh, let's get him transformed real quick, and uh, we'll take a look at him. In, look at him in robot mode. So we'll be right. All back. right, here we have Ultra Magnus in robot mode, and he does look very, very cool. Uh, you can notice right off the bat his sword is clear. It's not painted in any way. It's just clear plastic. Um, what's really cool though is his face. I wish I could show you the light piping but it's all clear so it doesn't really show up too well but I mean he does have a rather nasty looking face which I do really 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 like and let me tell you getting these guys wheels to line up properly pain in the butt one thing I never liked about the mold anyway we can just take a look at him real quick uh, everything on him is super tight especially that's pretty uh, Pretty crazy considering this guy's been remolded so many times. Um, he had the exact same articulation, basically, every, basically everything the ball, heads on a ball, shoulders go up and down and then rotate around. Nothing at the waist. Um, upper bicep, elbow, wrist is on a ball, and a, and a uh, rotation joint, which I don't think I ever noticed, but it can rotate and it's on a ball, which is pretty cool. I don't know any other transformer that has that. Um, Bends at the knee, and just the wheels are blocking and going to go that far. Nothing forward, kneecap, and then uh, pivot and a ball at the feet, and the heel can actually bend too if you needed to. Exact same as everybody else with this mold. So yeah, just take a quick look at this guy. So one thing I don't like about this mold also is that the the way the fists are shaped, as you can see that the, the uh, sword likes to literally just spring out, because it has, it's not, it, the sword is squared, and the fist is rounded, so it's very hard to get to actually hold his sword properly. But yeah, he does look good every time. It's alright. Every time, every time, every time, every time. He does look very cool. I do really dig him. Um, there's a Maki Toys battle upgrade set for him, a uh, battle tanker for him. Um, it's identical except for the head and a couple other little features, as the one I showed previously on Shattered Glass Optimus. Um, I'm probably not going to be getting that because of money, and basically there's no point in having it and the other one for the amount of money that they want. It's just one of the cuts I had to make. Not that big a deal for me. But, uh, I think this guy looks totally... I really didn't, also didn't want to get rid of this head. I really, really do like um, his head in this in, uh, on this guy. But yeah, here he is. Does look very cool. Uh, more of the red shows through in this mode. Um, I don't think any of the other figures had painted kneecaps. Uh, we got nice silver detail on the shins, on the on the thighs. Every, it's just very painted abs. Just very, 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 very nicely detailed little guy. Again, this is part of the box set, so if you don't have the box set, probably not going to own this guy because it's just really not worth the money to go out and find these guys separately. But uh, if you do find him cheap. He's cool. If you like the mold, I say get him. He's very cool looking. So yeah, this has been the video review for 
BotCon 2012 Shattered Glass box set. Shattered Glass. I guess Shattered Glass. Ultra Magnus.